Neither. It's neither, right? Hey, there we go. What's up? Yes. What's good? DMV is in the building right now. I'm, I'm coming at you from Northern Virginia right now, man. Oh, you're from Nova? Yeah, 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 Where man. Uh, Woodbridge, Alexandria. Oh, I, I used to live in Woodbridge, bro. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, oh, yo, oh, Kuya okay. P, Nerds Rule the World. Congrats, bro. Thanks for repping the area, man. You're doing us proud. Got a little go-go go mix in there. You. you killed it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more of the origin of the track, my man. What, what came first, like a specific beat or, or what inspired the track? Let me tell you, I, I, I was studying physics and civil engineering in college and just trying to prove to my parents that, hey, I could I could do music, I could do music. So one of the times in my, in my room, just kind of feeling down and I started playing with, with, uh, with my doll, making beats. And the beat kind of came about just, you know, me in my room and that day, was kind of feeling down by my relationship with some things that were going on. So I kind of started writing the track there. Um, fast forward about a year later, I get a contract from the city of D.C. with uh, my guy John West, and we're able to build out a full studio to teach about a music curriculum, uh, teach a music curriculum uh, to students in D.C. So I bring strings in to develop out the rest of the track for that. Um, and then most recently, just uh, with the platform of, of American Song Contest, we really wanted to speak and pay homage to the, to the area. So we did a lot of arranging and bought some amazing drummers and amazing instrumentalists along for the ride as well. I love it. Well, congrats, man. When you come back into the area, I got to connect with you, man. Get, give you some more I'll, love. I'll be back tomorrow, bro. I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, hey, I'm going to hit you up in the DMs, man. Look, look, look for that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, brother. Take care, man. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Neither. It's neither, right? There we go. What's up? Yes. What's good? DMV is in the building right now. I'm, I'm coming at you from Northern Virginia right now, man. Oh, you're from Nova? Yeah, 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 Where man. At? Uh, Woodbridge, Alexandria. Oh, I, area. I used to live in Woodbridge, bro. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, oh, yo, oh, Kuya okay. P, Nerds Rule the World. Congrats, bro. Thanks for repping the area, man. You're doing us proud. Got a little go-go mix in there. You. you killed it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more of the origin of the track, my man. What, what came first, like a specific beat or, or what inspired the track? Let me tell you, I, I, I was studying physics and civil engineering in college and just trying to prove to my parents that, hey, I could I could do music, I could do music. So one of the times in my, in my room, just kind of feeling down and I started playing with, with, uh, with my doll, making beats. And the beat kind of came about just, you know, me in my room. And that day, was kind of feeling down by my relationship with some things that were going on. So I kind of started writing the track there. Um, fast forward about a year later, I get a contract from the city of D.C. with uh, my guy John West, and we're able to build out a full studio to teach about a music curriculum, uh, teach a music curriculum uh, to students in D.C. So I bring strings in to develop out the rest of the track for that. Um, and then most recently, just uh, with the platform of, of American Song Contest, we really wanted to speak and pay homage to the, to the area. So we did a lot of arrangement and bought some amazing drummers and amazing instrumentalists along for the ride as well. So. I love it. Well, congrats, man. When you come back into the area, I got to connect with you, man. Get, give you some I'll, more love. I'll be back tomorrow, bro. I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, hey, I'm going to hit you up in the DMs, man. Look, look, look for that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, brother. Take care, man. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Hi. Great job tonight. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my question is, what made you decide to do American Song Contest instead of one of the other singing shows? Um, I'll be honest, man. It, it was kind of like pulling teeth to get me to, I guess, join the show. Um, when you're in L.A. and when you're working behind the scenes and on music and on productions, a lot of times, uh, I don't know, sometimes you kind of lose hope with, like, you know, the reality circuit. Uh, and for me, I was just focused on the work. So I've been able to work with a lot of my heroes and stuff like that. But when the opportunity for American Song Contest came around, uh, and especially just representing the DMV area, I so said, I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> would love to bring Go Go and would love to bring Beat Your Feet to the stage. Um, it's NBC, and we haven't seen those art forms and that music really on like a national, or I would dare to say even the international stage. So that was the motivation for me, just to really pay homage to the city. Beautiful. Well, good luck, and I'm super proud of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jamie Ruby, Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks for talking to us tonight. Hey, no problem. Um, so can you talk a bit about how this performing on this stage is different than kind of anything else you've ever done, how the experience differs? What? Have you seen Eurovision performing on this stage? I mean, it's it's, it's exciting. The, the, the production quality is over the top. Um, we literally have access to 
resources of our, our wildest dreams, the lights, the, the the pyro for a lot of people. So, um, man, it's it's just it's an exhilarating feeling just to be able to bring the art of the music, but then also the storytelling within stage performances to be able to bring that at that high of a level. Um, so that was good for me. Okay, great. Well, thank you and great performance. No problem. Thank you.